Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let us see the project title. The title of the project is an efficient and robust addressing protocol for node auto configuration in ad hoc network. Let us see the abstract of the project. Mobile ad hoc networks do not require any previous infrastructure and rely on dynamic multi-hub topologies for traffic forwarding. The lack of centralized administration makes these networks attractive for several distributor applications such as sensing, internet access, to deep private communities and disaster recovering. A crucial and usually unaddressed issue of ad hoc networks is frequent network partitions. The network partitions caused by node mobility, fading channels, and nodes joining and leaving the network can disrupt the distributed network control. Network insulation is another challenging issue because of the lack of servers in the network. As other wireless networks, ad hoc nodes also need unique address to enable multi-hub routing and full connectivity. Address assignment in ad hoc networks, however, is more challenging due to self-organized nature of these environments. Centralized mechanisms such as the dynamic host configuration protocol or the network address translation conflict with the distributed nature of the ad hoc networks and do not address network partitioning and merging. The proposed system uses the filter-based addressing protocol. The proposed protocol maintains a distributed database stored in the filters containing the current allocated address in a compact fashion. The collision-free address assignment is a major problem in the ad hoc networks because the nodes in the ad hoc networks are not in the stable state. The nodes are in the moving state. So the nodes requires new addresses when it moves from one partition to another partition. During this moving session, there may be or may not be occur address collision. The nodes in the ad hoc networks often makes the network merging and the partition merging. The nodes often produces the joining and leaving node managements. The proposed system maintains here the node should first give request to join in a partition and then nodes in that partition will receive the request and then the nodes will check for the address collision and then the node will give reply for the response message. The response message will be positive if the nodes the response message will be positive if there occurred no address collision. Otherwise it will produce a negative message. The nodes will automatically form a partition if it not gets any response for a particular time then the node requires the partition merging for the nodes it will need more message for the request when there is no nodes to receive the control message let us see the flow of the project the first flow contains the joining node management first the initialization node just takes a empty address filter and then it will randomly chooses an address for the communication and waits for a hello message if the hello message is received then it checks for the hello message request and it will check whether the, the address received and the, if the current address also same then it changes the address and updates the address and broadcasts the address to the net now the node is joined in the network if the address collision is not occurred just it updates the address filter and broadcast a message and joined in the network if the hello message is not received for the long time then it will act as a initiator node so it will randomly create a network and chooses a partition ID. Then the second process is the partition merge. The node first broadcasts the address request for the network merging. So all the nodes receives the address request. Then it checks for the address collision. If the address is not collision occurred, it merges the network. Otherwise, it again broadcasts the message and changes the address frequently. And finally, the merged network updates the address filter and broadcasts the messages. Then the third process is the leaving node managed. The leaving node not waits for the response message. At first, the node which want to leave the network broadcast the leaving messages to the nodes. The node which receives the address will remove the address and updates the address filter and broadcast the message to the network. Let us see the demo of the project. First, we should run the receiver. This is the sender application. So, we should show the nodes which has been created. The phone nodes. Next, set addresses. So, we should set the addresses so the addresses has been set when we click the set addresses it will set so we can get the success message so when we click the show assigned addresses we can see the assigned addresses so when we click the next button it will redact the next page so here we should configure the sender so when we click this button we can see the address of the when we click the destination address so here node name is displayed so node 2 is selected when we click the button we can get the port number 
so we should configure the same procedure in the receiver side so when we click receive request we can send the request to the node 2 click the send request and the request is sent we can get the success message so in the join the request is received from the node 1 and the address is here so we can verify it whether it has address collision or not so it is don't have the address collision so we can send the response to the node 2 so we should send the response to the node 1 so here so node 1 should first open the connection then node 2 can now send the response to the node 1 we can get the success message here we can see the response is received from node so when we click this button the partition id is generated and we should send this partition id to the node 2 so when we click the next button here the partition id receiver so first connection we send the partition id to node 2 so we can get the success message here the partition is sent so this is partition id is received from the node 1 we should update this partition id the partition id is updated when we click the next button it will redirect to the next page so in the next page we can see the network monitor so in the network monitor we can see the here we can see the four nodes and the two nodes are in the same partition so so next the hello message sender so here the hello message can be sent from the node 1 or node 2 because they have their partition ids so here we can choose node 1 and the partition id and the address has been shown next we should configure the destination so here destination can be 3 and 4 so here node 3 is selected so port number is displayed then we should configure it from the receiver side here the receiver is node 3 so we should click the node 3 and the address and the port is displayed so when we click the receive message we can send the message from the node 1 so click send hello message the hello message is sent to the node 3 so here the node 3 receives the hello message from node 1 the partition id and the address is shown here so it should verify the collision and there is no collisions so it will send the response to the node 1 so just click the receive response and we can send the response to the node 1 so the response is sent to the node 1 here the response is from the node 3 so the address is here displayed so we can generate the partition id so this partition id should be updated and sent to the node, node 3 so the receive button and we should generate the partition id and send partition id should be sent the partition id has been sent to the node 3 so we just update this when we click the network monitor we can see the three nodes are under same partition so node 4 is not yet configured so the same procedure should be followed so here node 4 also configured so when we click the network monitor we can see all the nodes are under the same partition so to perform the network partition merging we should create another node here we should create the node the node is created so when we click the network monitor we can see the node 5 is added so we should match the node 5 with this nodes so when we click the next button partition merge request sender will be displayed here also partition merge request receiver should be displayed here we should first configure the sender so here current node is node 5 and the destination node will be 2 so here the receiver is 2 node 2 so here node 2 address and partition id is displayed when we click the receive button we can send the request so the request is passed to node 2 here the request is received from the node 5 so we should check and then the partition ids are displayed here we should create a new partition and this new partition should be sent to the node 5 so we should click the receive button and the update and send response it will send the response to the node 5 so the new partition has been displayed so it will update the new partition when we click the network monitor all the nodes will be under the same partition so the next page will be redirected to leaving node management so here the leaving node sender page is displayed here we can set node 3 as the leaving node so the receiver should be node 1 so here we should configure the receiver so the receiver is node 1 and click the receive button it will show the message and when we click broadcast message it will broadcast the message so here the leaving node request is received and we should change the partition ID. so the new partition should be created and the new partition should be broadcast so the new partition is updated successfully so here when we click the network monitor node 3 is in the different partition and remaining nodes are under the same partition the graph represents the average delay of messages in the x-axis the number of node nodes are shown and the y-axis the average delay for the messages is shown in seconds thank you